So if you remember back to that 900 megahertz versus 2.4 gigahertz video I did, um, I said I was going to do a lot more FPV testing to perfect my system, and this is just some another test I did. This test is comparing um, 2.4 gigahertz. It's comparing channel 8 versus channel 0. Um, more in depth about that. So I took my micro drone version 3 to the school, and I this first test is with channel 0. So it's a Lawmate transmitter, a Lawmate receiver, and an 8 dBi patch antenna. Um, once again, on channel 0, and that channel is used by Wi Fi and other things that run off 2.4 gigahertz, like wireless phones or stuff like that. So, anyways, um, as you can see here, there are lines in the video not lines but it's just kind of like just interferency um, it, it's like that pretty much through the whole flight the farther away I get the worse that it gets um, also on this flight I had my dragon link farther away from my video receiver and that seems to help out a lot so I had a really long extension cable um, so as you can see here this does not work out very good I'll play the end of this test clip So here's the next test, and this is with the same setup, except I have a little rubber ducky antenna instead of the 8 dBi patch. I think this is like a 3 dBi rubber ducky antenna. Um, but inside these antennas, I've taken it apart, and it's just a standard dipole antenna. Um, so I was just kind of comparing these two antennas with this flight. So this is my final test with 2.4 gigahertz Fox Tech Hobby gear. Um, it's a 500 milliwatt 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. There's the receiver right there, 8 dBi patch. There's my laptop to record it, and there's the box that I watch it in. Um, this is on channel 8. That's the difference between this flight with the 8 dBi patch and the last flight with the 8 dBi patch that was on uh, channel 0 with the Lawmate transmitter. So this is the Fox Tech Hobby um transmitter and as you can see here it works pretty well um with this flight i flew to that mountain peak that's pretty much in the center of the screen um by the sun uh that is 1.7 miles away exactly and um uh the thing about this flight is there were some trees on either side um of my line of sight so i was kind of flying through a narrow window of trees and i've heard that can do some stuff to your video um, because radio signals aren't just like directly to the plane. There's like kind of spheres of signal that have to like contact or something like that. So um, I think that uh, that can kind of affect it. And pretty much the video was perfect the whole way. Except when I get farther out, you'll see that occasionally there are some little lines of interference like that one that just happened. Um, they're just like the lines that happen when I flew with channel zero with the Lawmate, but there's just, they occur a lot less frequently, and yeah, so basically with this flight I had to use the sun to navigate, um, and another thing to note with the Dragon Link is I was using a little rubber ducky antenna, um, and I was still able to go 1.7 miles no problem, so Dragon Link is performing good, right there I did a little like turn test to test the polarity, or the polarization um, of my antennas. I had to dive down because my camera wouldn't adjust to the darkness of the ground um, to see where I was going. So anyways, here's the rest of this flight. 